Within the chakra system, each chakra has the ability to play dual roles. First, to perceive the immediate energy environment, and second, to focus life energy into areas of focused energy activity and facilitate consciousness. The life energy we use to sense the environment and facilitate perception is generated through the core self. In the self-actualized person, the life energy generated through the core self easily adjusts to support the immediate social energy environment. Synchronization of life energy is the ability to fill the biofield with the life energy dynamics of every frequency in the ability range of one chakra to facilitate perception. Mastery of a frequency range is evident with synchronization of that frequency range. Those still approaching mastery of refinement of life energy in the white frequency range will adjust their rate of perception to support the immediate social environment to the best of their ability. Children will most often stay with one chakra guiding the core self indefinitely as they learn and develop mastery of that chakra's frequency range. Life energy refined by the core chakra is used to fill the biofield and facilitate perception. All of the millions of life energy dynamics in the biofield sense the environment at a consistent amplitude. The energy dynamics relay data about the energy encountered. This data is presented back to the core self and then used in the creation of consciousness. Perception is a very fast and continuous process that we really notice. The rate of perception used by the life energy dynamics to collect environmental data has the most influence on the consciousness we create during that time, as well as influence on the memories we store as information about that time. The rate of perception we choose to use most often also affects our personality. Each chakra collects a slightly different picture of the world to be used for perception. The way core life energy collects a picture of the immediate energy environment for perception can be likened to the way a digital camera collects information for a photograph. The rate of resolution used by a digital camera to collect light energy from the environment affects the quality of the final photograph. The higher the resolution rate, the finer the clarity of the photograph. This awareness is helpful when we want to achieve greater understanding of anything in life. The higher the core frequency we use to perceive as we learn, the more complete the quality of our final understanding of the subject will be. Consciousness we know consciousness as our own self-talk and attitude. Consciousness is also focused energy activity vibrating in space much smaller than we can see. Life energy dynamics are created by each chakra's response to the data retrieved from perception. We focus the response life energy dynamics into a certain area where they combine and interact. The intricate energy activity in this tiny space is consciousness. The brain records patterns of energy activity and stores the information. We can easily access the files of information at will with memory. Attitude is the principal mechanism that controls the refinement of life energy dynamics we use to create consciousness. How does it do it? Firstly, attitude controls the life energy used for perception. 
This controls the picture we have of the world at the time and affects which life energy dynamics we will sense in the biofield and which we will not sense. All before the individual chakras are invited to respond to the energy environment. This will of course indirectly influence the response life energy dynamics created and directed to consciousness. Secondly, the chakras will create a life energy dynamic response to contribute to consciousness only if there is an energy need of that chakra not being met by the immediate energy environment. There are two kinds of needs, absolute needs, which are part of each chakra's natural design, and individually assigned needs, needs chosen and assigned by the individual self. Attitude will assign our own personal needs of each chakra at any given time. When we use imagination to zoom in and visualize the intricate way energy dynamics from throughout the self combine in an area of activity, we notice that there are infinite possibilities for patterns of energy activity which create consciousness. We have different memories for each day of our life because we create different energy patterns in our focused life energy activity, consciousness every day of our life. We can never control the energy environment in which we exist, so we can never truly control the consciousness we can potentially create each day. We can, however, control how we perceive the energy environment before we create consciousness and influence the life energy dynamics which will become our personal conscious activity. This is where mastery of consciousness begins. Controlling our perception is the only true influence we can have over our personal creation of consciousness. <laughs>